Good morning, folks. We're finally seeing the sun calming down a bit. We're going to look at seismicity, weather, and a bit of cosmology, climate forcing, and the solar system shift as well. But we are starting with our star. The solar flaring has finally ceased. The active region has gone over the limb to the far side, and we are left with quieter sunspot groups and dark coronal holes. We will continue to monitor these sunspots and the new ones appearing to be coming into view, but for now, they lack the magnetic complexity and are not flaring. Folks, this is the second time this year a big quake has struck this part of Texas. Five pointers, generally too big to be fracking related generally. It's noteworthy how close these are, however, to Jeff Bezos' dual launch and bunker survival facility. Wonder what's happening under the ground there. Folks, this is the polar vortex setup at the moment, outflow directly down onto North America, and with it, a simultaneous dip in the jet stream that will slowly trudge eastward. It is already chilling a good portion of the continent, and this Arctic intrusion is expected to continue into next week. Now let's go out into space, where our historical coverage of cosmology has been mostly about how much they miss, and eventually, how they will use better technology to see the light of the plasma and dust they've been missing. Turns out, the light they now see with better technology is more than what should be seen based on just the stars and the galaxies. Something else is shining in the darkness. They recognize this may fundamentally change their view of the universe, and I'll once again say that it's all that plasma and dust they haven't seen before, which not only creates, reflects, and re-emits light, but alleviates the need for dark matter, which is still missing. The extra particles and the electric and magnetic fields have been underappreciated, if not outright ignored in some instances, and a great change in cosmology is needed, and hopefully coming. Moving on to a quick note here about how they're using the 11-year sunspot cycle to learn more about the processes of El Nino and La Nina. There are dozens of papers showing how important solar forcing is for this cycle and other key oscillations. Golf clap. Last but not least, major Mars quake earlier this year released five times the energy of any other event known. Imagine such a thing happening on Earth. It was so powerful it was able to reveal ancient impact craters in the seismic waveforms traveling through the crust. Folks, Mars is waking up, and this makes about 15 check marks in that category we've seen over the last three years. We greatly appreciate your support. Learn more about the solar system shift, what's causing it, and what's coming next with our books, playlists, or hop on a one-on-one -on -one call with me at the links below the video. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.